See, this is the shipping carton. Seems to have survived nicely. Uh, on this box, there was nothing of significance. Some uh, shipping paper. And here is, here is then the box with the cubelets. Uh, on the box, there is only a Q code and some written text. Not much to say about it. Uh, it says on the back um, what, what kind of blocks it contains. A drive, a rotate, a speaker, a flashlight, a bar graph. These are the action blocks. The sense blocks are a knob. One for brightness, one two for distance, one for temperature. The think blocks are inverse, what two inverse, one minimum, one maximum, and the utility blocks are one battery, which of course is necessary, uh, two passive ones that doesn't convey a signal, and two blocker ones uh, uh, that blocks the signal. The, the passive ones conducts the signal and the blocker ones uh, blocks the signal. Uh, it also contains batteries and charging gear. It also says cubelets and the modern robotics logo are trademark and etc. So let's see what we have in the box. It's a sturdy box. I think you could store your units there without worrying that they'll be damaged. First we have a charger for the reasonably special battery that's in the battery box. It's just not an AA or a AAA or anything like that. It's a special battery, so you need the special charger. Here is then uh, a US plug, so I guess uh, the people from Europe like me would have to, to get a uh, converter for that. Here is also a 12 volt charger, uh, so you could charge your cubelets on the go. I guess that that will be practical. So that was it for the carton. And the rest, the main piece, is the cubelets that we are so excited about here at the Flexibility Envelope. Uh, we're going to have a look at some of them. They are actually magnetically connected to one huge block. Um, let's get the carton away here. There's not much more there. So we have two drive bar uh, blocks. You see the wheels here in the bottom. Uh, we have a knob block, which you can turn on and off, uh, or you can turn it from 0 to 256. Um, this is a... Uh, I don't know which one that is. Um, but these are the bar graph. It's going to show you a value. And this is the uh, LED flashlight. Goes brightness goes up and down. Uh, here's the speaker. The sound goes up and down. Uh, this is the spin. This end is going to spin uh, with the speed according to the value it receives. Um, we also have the distance block. Uh, we have the temperature block. Uh, and we have two uh, passive blocks and two blocker blocks. We're going to talk more in detail uh, about the blocks and how they work in a later video. Uh, the beige one, well, there's lots to discover here. I don't know everything. Um, these are uh, the distance blocks. You see the LED or the IR distance sensor there. So that's going to tell you the distance. And we have a battery um, block. So in here goes the batteries. It seems to be locked with a screw that I can maybe get into. Let's see if I have my knife here somewhere. So let's see if I can get in and show you the reasonably special, um, the reasonably special uh, batteries that's that are used. And they are used because the units are uh, an inch in cube and you couldn't use either of the AA, the AAA or the AA uh, batteries. Let's see if I can get in here. Well, that was the on off button. So, ah, here we see the batteries. Um, so they're a reasonably special, special type of battery and I'll try to get you a link 
uh, for where you can get extra ones because I guess you'll need them. You'll charge a couple of sets and then you'll uh, play with the with uh, one set and charge the other. 